During injection molding, heat energy is removed from the polymer through the mold steel. From there, it moves to the cooling fluid, out of the mold, and into a machine-side water chiller or a temperature control unit. This is the pathway of heat, and each component in the process plays an important role. Let's look at this pathway of heat in more detail, starting with the chiller or mold temperature controller and moving to the molding machine and the mold. A molding cell requires water to cool and maintain a molding machine's temperature. Cooling is also necessary at the material feed throat so that the polymer can feed into the cylinder assembly. Depending on the overall cooling requirements of the mold, individual water line setups will be determined from the number of lines to the sizes of the supply lines from the temperature control unit to the mold water distribution manifold.